up guys today we're going to take a look at the little glider this glider is very popular and so many people have done these modifications before and today is my turn to do it this glider is very cheap you can find it in any little store and it's about 10 or 9 euros it is a free fly glider mainly for kids because you just throw it and let it fly but it is big enough to hold a lot of electronics inside and also in the wings so it is very good for that reason so what I did is what many people have done already is put some electronics in here I put even a small motor here with a folding propeller so if I'm using the, the motor the, the propellers just fold and it's more aerodynamic and there are three servos one to control the elevator and two on the wings to control the ailerons so let's get started First, let's take a look at what we have in the box. We have a couple of things that we're not going to use, like these stickers and the little book that is not even a manual. So let's put the glider together. It's as easy as putting the wing and the horizontal stabilizer. And here I'm just checking the CG or center of gravity to see at what point they put it. And I would say it's okay. The only thing I don't like though is the trailing edge, which is very square and thick. This might cause a little bit of drag, so I'm going to cut it a little bit. Now, this step is not mandatory, you can just leave it like that, but because I love aerodynamics, I'm going to do it. With some patience, I just trimmed the whole trailing edge of the wings, and now it looks a lot better. And now I can say that I can go outside and test it as a free fly glider. To be honest, this is very boring. Throwing a glider in a place like this where there is no heels, the glider just fly a little bit and then fall. It would be better if we throw it from a hill or something, so then it could fly a lot more. But under the risk of losing it forever, because it could fly and fly until we lose it. But that's why we're going to make it RC so we can control it. Enough of silly games, it's time to get to work. I'm going to start opening some space in the fuselage to put all the electronics we need, like the battery, receiver, and others. I'm going to use three servos, two for the wings and one for the elevator. I'm going to use a 1mm carbon fiber push rod. I bought that off Hobby King and it's gonna do the job just fine. The rest of the process is very self-explanatory and it's very simple to do. You can do it at home just looking at these images. Although different people use different techniques, for example to create the elevator or the hinges of the elevator, etc. I'm just going to show you the way I did it. Now I need a little control horn. This can be made out of different materials like wood, plastic, or in this case I'm going to use a can. The wings have a little bit of a dihedral. We have to fix that to make them flat so the ailerons don't have any problem functioning. It worked quite well. Next step, make the ailerons. Very easy.
And now let's do the serious work, putting the servos, in this case the servos that go in the wings. I'm using very cheap micro servos that are enough for this task. In the description of the video will leave the links of all the components that I recommend to complete this project. If you use those links, you will help me to earn a little bit of a commission that helps this channel. To put the servos in place, the best way is to make a cavity the same size of the servo. And to do that, I'm using a soldering iron. That's the best way I can think of. Be careful when doing this because you could cut through the foam and that would affect the aerodynamics of the wing. So just do it slowly and patiently. So now let's check the servo or servos and using a servo tester let's put it in their middle position and then put the servo arm in place. The servo arm should be at 90 degrees in respect to the wing. And now I'm going to use a common metal wire to make the push rods for each aileron. To secure the servos in position, you could use some glue and tape. For this next servo, which is the one that will control the elevator, we will have to use a slightly different technique. We also have to connect the wire from the servo arm to the carbon push rod using some string and glue. And finally, I'm not going to use common servo extensions because they are too heavy. So what I'm going to do is extend the servo leads with my own wires and this way it will be a lot better. I will divide the main wing into halves, that way it will be a lot more portable and it will be also a lot easier to put together. To reinforce them, I'm going to use a small carbon fiber rod. And finally, I'm going to put the small motor and this folding propeller. This propeller is from an airplane that I'm not using anymore. And this motor can stand up to 2S and sometimes 3S batteries if you are careful. The receiver I'm going to use is very small and lightweight and is compatible with FlySky. It's almost done, the only thing I have left to do is to set up the radio and we can go outside and fly it. We went to a small mountain where it could fly very well and the weather was amazing that day. Remember that this airplane used to have a little bit of dihedral in the wings, and now, because they are flat, the stability of the airplane is a little bit more complicated to maintain. But it flies very good. I can even fly for long periods of times along the slope using the incoming air without using the motor. Well guys, there you have it. This project was very fun for me and I also created a very portable RC glider. But also very important, it was very cheap. Now, if you don't have a little store, you can buy these kind of gliders anywhere online. They come in different sizes and different prices. Now, this little glider is very popular because it's really, really cheap compared to other ones. In a future video, I will put a very monstrous motor 
in it and maybe a 6S battery or something as crazy as that to make it fly very fast and see what happens. If you don't want to miss my future videos, consider subscribing and also hitting the bell button. For now, I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next project. Yeah,